This morning I would like to speak about silence. You know, most live in this world of endless movement of words. This is the reason on retreat we choose to be in silence because speaking brings mental words into the hardwiring of the play and ground the illusion even deeper. In the beginning, when there is the refraining from speaking, there are periods of great irritation. And it is all at the root of words still spinning. This life for most is a maze. It is this magical maze of words on top of words, stories on top of stories, interweaving pictures and sensations into this subjective experience of what seems to be this ever-changing reality of separation. It is not that the phenomena stops appearing. It is that when the words come to rest, the experience of separation this is what evaporates. I spoke yesterday offering what is really the difference between this character and this microphone. was pointing to the experience of this being some discrete, separate thing. It is all built upon the fundamental of words. In the beginning when there is the willingness to stop speaking, there are episodes of agitation. But if this is prolonged, this commitment to stop speaking, what begins to be seen is that the stimulus which is constantly generating the mental languaging begins to relax. Because when there is this internal commitment to stop speaking, all of the avenues of this external world the feeding of them stops, and there is this running off. This slowing down. One of the natures of words, language, is that it is going to complain. It is enamored with itself. And it creates this myth that that is a you that is enamored. When there is a willingness to cut off the supply that keeps the entanglement of this constant flow of words spinning overtly through speaking, or almost constantly spinning in the head when speaking has stopped. When the fuel supply is cut off, it slows down. It is the nature of it. The fuel is cut off.
Silence is the taste that is revealed when the words stop. What is desiring the words to stop are just more words. Sure, all of you are familiar with the phrase Nama Rupa. No name, no form. It seems like there is form. But what is discovered when the fuel supply of words is cut off, that it is the name that creates the experience of the form. It is the word that builds the matrix. The simplicity of living in a wordless life. Cannot use words to describe it. But then all of the phenomena collects itself in prostration to it. It is the nature of how it reorients itself. Living a wordless life. This is the taste of silence. It does not exclude speaking. It does not exclude actions. It is in the absence of words. It is in the feeling of silence. It is in the unified field in which all appearance appears within, and its nature is pure beauty. It is the reality under the show. The taste of the yani is the taste of the wordless life. This is the path of silence. 